All right, so this is going to be a refashion video. Um, this is a 100% linen skirt that I bought a few months ago at the thrift store. I only got it because I needed it for a Halloween costume. And now that that costume, I already used that costume and Halloween's long gone. Uh, I don't really have a use for this skirt because it's a little bit too big for me. But I like the color, I like the material, so actually what I want to do is try to refashion it into this style of shirt. I've already made this view before, uh, view D, and it really turned out well, so I'm going to use that. This is McCall's M6927, if you were wondering. Uh, but the thing is, I'm actually not sure, I've already started... Um, I already started with the seam upper, as you can see, I took the waistband off. But because it's kind of, it's kind of wide, uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to fit it. So I might actually end up, like, making, um, making like a seam across here, and doing sort of like a gathered like sort of peplum-y type thing because I feel like if there was a seam there and if it and it wasn't a peplum it, look, it might look kind of weird but yeah that's um that's my plan what I need to do is finish getting this totally deconstructed and then iron it and then I can pull out the pattern pieces and see what I can do with it so that should be pretty cool alright so you can see here how I've laid out my pattern pieces. Um, I seam ripped the whole entire skirt, so it's just two pieces of fabric. These two seams are, are ripped out. Um, this is actually supposed to be um, where you cut one on the fold, but I'm actually going to cut two pieces and sew it down the middle. That's how the back piece is supposed to be done. Um, and then as you can see, there's like some extra room, and I'm hoping I'll be able to get the fabric I need for that from the middle. We'll see though. <laughs> this is kind of just an experiment. Hopefully it'll work out. This one is a little bit longer, but that's because uh, the view I first did this pattern on sort of had like a shirt tail hem in the back and not in the front, so that one looks a little bit longer, but I think they're actually about the same length, which is good. So yeah, um, I'm going to cut these out and hopefully I'll be able to figure out a way to get this um, assembled so it's not too short. So this is what I have so far. Um, I obviously did assemble most of it. Um, I sewed the darts, sewed the front and back pieces together, and then sewed those together. Um, the All the edges are not finished though. So this hem is actually the original hem of the skirt that I just picked out. And I kind of like how that looks. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the way that the um, sleeve or the armhole and the neck hole looks. So I'll probably finish those off and then just leave the bottom. Um, I was thinking about trying to add more uh, fabric to the bottom, but I kind of like how this looks. I I thought it was going to be a little bit too cropped for me, but I actually don't think it's too bad. You know, I like the way this looks. I think it'll be good for the summertime. So I'm going to get to uh, hemming the neck hole and the armholes. I'm going to do, I think I might try to do the a bias technique with that.